going on guys so I'm at it with another video again back from vacation feeling refreshed ready to go you guys have messaged me said hey where are the videos at and here it is guys um, I really appreciate you guys messaging me really means a lot really keeps me um, going makes me feel very humbled that you guys even want to see uh, these videos so this video is going to be about my clown ball python project that I have going um, so I'm just going to just give you a little overview of uh, some of the ball pythons that I have in that project. I'm very excited about the clown project. Really, really like it. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. Check it out. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love Alright guys, so as I said in the intro, we're talking about my clown ball python project This is a picture of world of ball pythons of a clown uh, It is a recessive mutation It is a pattern and color mutation as well uh, Gives you some really nice uh, tan and brown uh, coloration with a nice dorsal stripe down the back and a crazy head pattern. It was first brought in by VPI and they proved that it was a recessive mutation back in 1999. Um, it got its name Clown um, because when it was first imported, it actually had a teardrop look to its face um, on it, which kind of looked like the teardrop of a clown. And uh, that's kind of where they uh, got the name Clown at. So uh, in this next uh, video, we're going to be showing you some of my uh, clowns. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to pull out the first female of the project here. So we get started. All right, this girl right here. I'm going to say started about the uh, glare and stuff like that already. Guys, got to get some new lighting. But this right here is my spot nose heck clown girl. I got her from Justin Kabelka of J. Kabelka Reptiles. And uh, the spot nose clown was first produced by Ben Rennick back in 2013. And uh, spot nose is really just a very cool mutation, um, very, very big pattern mutation. And um, as you can see, just really crazy cool patterns. If she'll um, come out, there we go. She's got a really, really cool head pattern. A lot of spot noses I've seen um, have really cool head patterns. Um, I have another one I'm going to show you. That's a really cool one. Uh, it looks like a T that way, and the other way, it looks like a middle finger. Um, so this girl, I don't have a current weight on her or anything like that, but she is just um, a good eater, and she's just amazing. Um, Spot Nose has really become very popular ever since Justin Kavelka did the uh, Batman project and other Spot Nose clown projects. Um, very excited to have her, and uh, you know, can't wait to uh, you know get some visuals and get into it. So. Let me uh, grab the next female. This girl right here is a spot nose, yellow belly, 50% heck clown. So as the other one was 100% heck clown, uh, this one is only 50%. So that means it was a het to non-het um, breeding that made her. Um, this girl is just amazing. I mean, just... The head pattern that she has is just awesome. I don't even know what it looks like, but it's just very, very amazing to me. Very cool pattern all around. Um, really nice, um, cool looking belly, even for, you know, being a yellow belly too. Uh, just very, very cool, um, you know, sides and just how some of the pattern kind of comes out, you know, into, into it. Um, but... She, I'm really obviously hoping that she proves, um, she obviously is not going to sit still for me very much, but, um, you know, just really taking my chances here, really, um, with this, with this girl, but I'm really hoping and thinking that, uh, she will prove, but, um, as you can see here, just really, really cool pattern, uh, when it comes to, um, spot nose, just those sides and just really, really cool. And um, I'm going to be breeding my clown male to her, which I will show. So everyone that I produce, if she does improve, is going to be 100% um, heck clown, even if she does improve. 
So that's always just a, definitely an added bonus. So she's not being cooperative. So let me go ahead and get the next female of the product. That last one, I don't know if I said, guys, I got her also from Justin Kabelka. This right here is a pastel heck clown that I got from Chris at Ball Pythons 101. And she is just a stunner. Um, he has some really good... Um, pastel clown stock. He's got a really nice pastel clown male that he has been breeding to all his clown stuff and she is just just gorgeous looking. Very nice clean belly. Um, she is a 17 girl so she's going to take some time to get up but she's already really put on some size um, since I've got her. Um, you can see her size. Just really really cool pattern. Um, you know I don't really know if that's the clown influence or not, um, I would suspect so because she is just really, really cool looking. I'm surprised she's really sitting very nice for me. Usually she's trying to bite me or whatever, but um, all good because she's a very good eater. So almost look that's like that's going to say a word there. Very cool. So um, and the pastel clown was actually first produced by BHB back in 2005. So definitely a mutation with the clown that's been around for a while. Um, there's a lot of clown projects that have pastel in it, but you know, it does some amazing stuff with clown. I'm very excited to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, we're going to get her up to size, hopefully, so that we can uh, get some nice uh, pastel clowns out of her, even some regular clowns I'd be happy with. So I'm going to put her away, and we're going to get the boy, the piece de resistance of the project. Here's my boy. This is my clown male. He's very shy, a uh, little on the angry side at times, but he is just amazing looking. So, all right, so here he is. He's being shy. He's not going to let me pull him out very much. Um, I got him from Kyle Hoffman of, uh, of Royal Ambassador. This is a very, very reduced pattern clown here, guys. Nice little speckling kind of here on this side. Reminds me so much of a leopard um, clown, but um, he would need to be a lot darker to be an actual leopard clown. So as you can see, he's not. Um, you could see his face right there. He's got a very cool, very unique face. He's got a lot darker pattern on his face a lot more than he does the rest of his body. Um, one of the cool things about him, if you follow me on Instagram, we can get it right there. Um, you can see he has a heart on the top of his head. His mother actually has a heart on the top of her head too. So I don't really know if it's something that, you know, is a trait that is, there you go, a really good shot of it, a trait that, you know, is passed on or what. But um, I'm very pleased with this boy right here, very pleased to get him. Um, I think he's going to make some amazing clowns and uh, clown combos. Very, very excited to put him to some girls. He's, he's big. He is to size, breeding size, basically. He is about a little over 600 grams. Um, I'm going to keep on feeding him good so that he can, um, you know, get to a really good size. I don't really think males need to really be that small. I think you're going to do possibly a little bit of damage to them if they are too small. 500 is obviously the key weight. But uh, this is him, and uh, very, very happy to have him here. Um, you can kind of see on his eye there. Um, kind of the, you know, kind of teardrop that I was talking about earlier that when VPI got it in in 1999, um, you know, the, uh, what kind of gave the clown its name. So here's the boy here, and he's going to go to all three of those girls there. We might pick up some more stuff in the future. You never know. Um, really excited with the clown project, plan to do a lot with it. And, uh, you know, if you want to see a lot of clown stuff and get a lot of clown stuff, definitely, definitely look here um, at TR Reptiles for it because we're going to be producing a lot. So um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some awesome Guys, clown hope stuff. hope you really enjoyed that video. Clown ball pythons are amazing. They've been around for a really long time. And let me tell you something. I absolutely love them. Um, they're still, I feel so much to do with it. The projects that we're in... Um, there's just, 
it's just it's just awesome. I, I don't really know what else to say about it, guys, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do more of these videos. I'm going to start pumping them out a little bit more often and all that, so stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get the latest updates of what's going on here at TR Reptiles. Appreciate you guys watching. Dream being real right